In this tutorial, uh, which is a, a continuation of another tutorial, we'll be taking a look at uh, the second half of applications and configuration tools located in the Preferences submenu found in the System menu on the menu bar. The menu bar, which is located in the upper half of the screen, contains the main menus for the system, Applications, Places, and the System menu which is highlighted and open now. Under System, the first submenu is entitled Preferences, and Preferences contains a long list of, of items, which are little applications and tools and uh, pieces of software to allow one to configure preferences and choices and options on a variety of areas of the, of the Linux system. In the first uh, tutorial, we took a look at the preferences from, from About Me uh, down to Power Management. And in this tutorial, we will pick up on that list with the Preferred Applications tool. The Preferred Applications tool is a tool that allows one to set the default web browser, mail reader, and other items. Here on the first tab you will see under Internet, we, we have a default web browser of Firefox. There are other browsers that are currently installed, and if one were to install yet other web browsers, those would appear here, and one can choose those as the default web browser. This uh, default web browser is invoked whenever, for example, let's say one is using the Evolution email client and one clicks a link in an email, then the system will, will look here to see which is the default web browser. Uh, unlike in Windows, which is really tied to one specific browser, uh, uh, Linux has many w different web browsers that are available, so having this uh, configuration option is very handy. Uh, some users may prefer Firefox, other users may prefer Opera or other web browsers. Similarly, under Mail Reader, one can select the default Mail Reader. Currently, Evolution is really the only uh, one that's available. There's also Mozilla Mail, which comes with the with the Mozilla web browser suite. If one were to install, for example, let's say Thunderbird, which is the uh, email client from Mozilla, the same folks that make make Firefox, that would appear here, and one could select Thunderbird instead of Evolution. Now, under System, uh, the only option that's available right now is the Terminal Emulator, which is um, something uh, which is the subject of another tutorial. Basically, uh, just like with web browsers and email clients, people can install different types of terminals, and those would appear here as well. Okay, going back to the uh, Preferences submenu of the System menu, uh, the next application uh, or the next configuration tool here is Remote Desktop, and this is a way... Uh, to turn on the ability to share your desktop with other uh, Ubuntu Linux users or other users using a piece of software called VNC. This allows you to, to turn on that ability to let others view or control your own desktop. Going back to the Preferences submenu under System, uh, the next item uh, is Removable Drives and Media. And this allows one to set lots of different options related to removable drives and media. For example, USB sticks or cameras or PDAs or scanners, things like that, that that perhaps are plugged into the system after the system has been turned on. This dialog box allows you to select some options related to those things. For example, mount removable drives when hot plugged. What this means is if one has a USB stick and, and inserts it into the system, do you want that USB stick to be automatically mounted and, and opened or not? Mount removable media when inserted, such as CDs, things like that. There's lots of different options here. This allows one to um, burn a CD or DVD when a blank disk is inserted. In other words, what all, it won't actually burn anything. It will just prompt the user as to whether or not one wants that to happen. And then it will perhaps open a dialog box to allow you to drag and drop items before burning. Uh, multimedia, there's options here regarding uh, what to do with audio CD discs and video discs and portable music players. There's options here related to digital cameras, uh, PDAs, uh, printers and scanners, what to do with those when they're default, and other input devices, mice, keyboards, tablets, and the like. All of those options are available under removable drives and media preferences.